For me, writing music, it's like standing in front of a, a, a brick wall, you know, and you, you go to that brick wall and you start to hit your head against the wall. And after about an hour, you stand back from the wall and you see if you've made any dent at all in the wall. And sometimes you haven't, and it's very frustrating. Mm. But you go back to the wall and you start hitting your head against it again. And then after another hour, you stand back and you see that there's a tiny little chip in the wall. There's a little hole in the wall and there's something you can start now to, mm. to build on. And so you go back to that little chip and you mm. start hitting your head against that chip. And pretty soon that chip becomes a hole in the wall. And for me, writing is a bit like that. And it sounds, it's, it's a depressing way of looking at it, but to me, writing music has always been that kind of war of attrition, hitting your head against the wall. And sometimes a whole day of hitting your head against that wall has made no impression on the wall at all and you go to bed really depressed because you feel like mm. you've just failed all day and i have many days like that writing and then i have those wonderful days where suddenly the wall just crumbles and the song i find the music i find the music on the other side of the wall but i couldn't tell you how i did it i couldn't tell you uh, if I could, I'd write a book and sell a million copies. <laughs> I don't know. And I know your website is about trying to, in a way, understand mm -hmm. that, the creative mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's always something that is a, a, you know, a chimera that will yeah, never, yeah. Be, mm -hmm. never be captured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have this, I have this, um, this method that, that I've developed, which is a combination of, um, of theory and creativity. Because um, the whole point of theory is it gets to the point where you know, because music is a language, so you're not, like when we're talking now, we're not thinking of grammar, right? It just comes out, and right. that's the idea with theory, is that you don't ever think, like, right. I don't ever think theory, I just write and it just comes out, you know? And, um, so I have this method that I call um, the, the song whispering method, where it's all about um, how to hear what the song wants to do next. So you just find a starting point and then, and then you let the song come into existence um, by telling you what it wants next and you get out of the way and um, it's, it is actually teachable because I've taught people this throughout courses and people have been saying that it, it works and it's this feeling where you know the song just writes itself. Um, and but you obviously have to get to the point where you're not thinking right it's just kind of allowing the song to to come through the sort of observation i would make is that what i loved about the world of painting for example is that sometimes you would get a great painter like a picasso for example mm. picasso was a brilliant technician he was technically mm -hmm. a brilliant mm -hmm. painter but he chose in his mm -hmm. greatest work to paint in this almost primitive primitive you know there was a kind of primitive primitivism mm -hmm. to some of his great works where he was almost painting like the way a child mm -hmm. would see something mm -hmm. um and i think that's kind of what you're saying in a way it's almost you you have to know all the theory so mm -hmm. that you can mm -hmm. forget it